beautiful people you're welcome thank you so so much for clicking my name is bukumi so this group of muslims fasted for 22 hours a day what led them to this fasting let's find it out guys if you believe in something you're done for it you know you go for it it's my belief that keeps driving you it's oh. very easy oh wow oh Iceland. Wow, I'm fasting for almost 22 hours. Uh, because uh, in Islam you do fast from pre-dawn to sunset. It's very easy because it's uh, your belief. It's my belief that keeps driving you. It's very easy. It becomes very natural. It becomes part of your day, your routine. When we read the verses of, uh, of the Qur'an in relation to the fast, uh, God himself says that God wants to create ease for you. You know, we have heard of certain uh, instances where people have fainted due to the long hours of the fast. When you are working with food and you don't eat yet, of course, you feel hungry, yes. But it don't make me to break my day. If you believe in something, you're down for it, you know. You go for it. <laughs> Even though I'm not fasting, but still I wake up, you know, um, especially for prayers, obviously. And then I help my husband in cooking and stuff, you know, oh, to prepare wow. food just to feel the spirituality right? of Ramadan. Uh, some people come, they want to join prayer. So this is why in order to join prayer, you need to breakfast in the mosque. Otherwise, if you do it home, no time to come to the mosque. It's a bit hard, but alhamdulillah we've done it and uh, everything is goes okay. Now I feel full, I can start my day tomorrow with fasting. Wow, this is a beautiful video guys. The fact that this particular country, Iceland, actually have the longest Ramadan fast scene. Like fast. Longest Ramadan fast, like this is beautiful. Like I can just imagine you fasting for 22 hours out of 24 hours in a day. That means they will eat within two hours in the midnight, then throughout that time again for they will eat. That was a beautiful one. I learned a lot about this video. He said it's just all about you know determination you know what you're doing you're doing it for god you know the right thing to do i just love how they have and i heard that they, they don't really have a lot of com their community is in smaller smaller size they are not really large in population but i don't know how long this video was i don't know if it was a recent video but back then there were around 1000 muslims and they all come together they pray for a long period of time you know, throughout the night, I would say maybe it's midnight prayer. <laughs> like where Christian talk about it, you get it. But one thing I want to understand, you know, one of the men that was interviewed, his wife said she, 
she was not fasting. I don't know if if it was for that day, or she missed some, you know, some days, or she just decided not to fast throughout that Ramadan period. But that particular day, the interview that said she was not fasting, but she would pray. But is it is it good? Is it advisable? Do you think it's it's right for a wife for a, a husband to fast? You know during ramadan for like 22 hours and the wife is not fasting at all so does that mean she she cooks eat in the morning eat in the afternoon eat in the night whereas your husband no no i i think they are one and when you're one you should do things together togetherness makes it more i just want to know if it is allowed in islam for your wife to skip fast I want to know if it's allowed. But that was a beautiful. I just love their explanation. I love uh, the unity among them. I love the togetherness. I love how they, they sit down together to eat. You know, that was a mind-blowing video. Let me know your point of view. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.